Hi, this is Matt Groneman uh, giving a presentation on integrative learning and what I learned uh, doing piloting integrative learning for my children's literature class, OITR240. First of all, I need to create an assignment which used integrative thinking as well as critical thinking. The assignment is that students imagine that they're teaching a group of young students about a topic. And they must use picture books as part of the learning tools to deliver the content. Students must first justify the appropriateness of the topic for their imagined audience. They must select a variety of picture books related to the topic and evaluate their educational value. And finally, explain how the books could be used to help students learn about the topic. In developing the assignment, my goal was I wanted to pick something that could organically evolve out of already what I was already doing in the course. Rather than start over and reinvent the wheel, I chose a paper that I already had and changed it, changed the way I was teaching it in order to better fit the integrated thinking. Uh, I thought about this short essay I do about fairy tales and multiple versions of the same fairy tale and which one best teaches a lesson to kids but in the end i decided to go with what i'd been using as my critical thinking assignment uh and really it's best to have the critical thinking assignment and the ethical or integrative thinking assignment be the same it's really essential since um since those should be the same i decided to go with the critical thinking assignment what i had done for it in the past is i had done an analysis of a picture book author's work a stylistic analysis, structural analysis, look, looking at what types of stories do they write, what are their themes, how do their conflicts work out, what types of characters do they use, what values do they focus on. And what I found is a lot of times students would have trouble with that paper. For instance, they'd pick Margaret and H.A. Ray, and the books they would choose to look at were Curious George, Curious George Rides a Bike, and Curious George Goes to the Zoo. And their insight would be, Curious George is in all of these books, which wasn't very useful. So what I had recently decided to do, starting um, spring 2015, I gave students the option of, instead of looking at one picture book author, they could choose multiple picture books with the same theme. For instance, they could pick George versus George and... John, Paul, George, and Ben, both of which are about the American Revolution. Uh, I had one student attempt it in spring of 2015, and that student did fantastically. Uh, after encouraging more students to take that option in the fall of 2015, I had, I think, three students try it. They did better than the rest of the class. I decided to require all students to look at a variety of picture books on the same theme in spring 2016 and to treat it not only as an analysis, but as an evaluative review of the book's ability to teach, children, teach students about the topic. Asking students to evaluate the educational value of the books made the essay not only integrative, or it is they're combining those different books into one assignment, but also interdisciplinary, because it's combining education and literature together into a, a specific study. Um, in fall 2016, in order to heighten that interdisciplinary aspect for the pilot, I, I asked students first to required, they're required to justify how they would teach about that topic and why they would teach about it. So for instance, one of the students wrote an essay on spiders, and she took spiders and mapped out to uh, first grade science uh, requirements and outcomes for Common Core, she mapped them to Indiana State uh, Teaching Certification. She talked about lots of different groups which had outcomes she needed to meet and how her topic met all of them in different ways. And she mapped out what books met with which outcomes. Um, the students also were asked to discuss how the books teach children and also how a teacher might integrate the books into a cohesive unit on the topic how they work together, and what they do in the classroom, which helps heighten that idea of using them for an educational purpose. Uh, like I said earlier, I chose this because it kind of organically developed out of what I was already doing. And because since many 
students who enroll in children's lit are fulfilling major requirements for an education degree. I thought it was a good chance for them to use that interdisciplinary approach so that our class was helping to inform what they're doing in education and their education classes were helping to inform what we were doing in children's lit. And they were better able to see the connections between what they were taking in class and how it would serve them later in their career and in their future. Uh, like I said earlier, just to kind of recap, it's a five to seven page essay. Uh, there's primary and secondary sources. So, and the students have to create a seven to ten minute oral presentation based on what they do. And so that basically means that uh, they need to take some steps in order to be prepared. Before introducing the assignment, students wrote two shorter essays. Well, neither of the shorter essays used content which is applicable. They both built, built skills which were needed for the longer essay. In the first essay, which was a comparative analysis of how two different versions of a fairy tale send differing messages, it teaches them how to how to analyze how text is interpreted by an audience. The second paper, which is an analysis of how images in fantasy novellas, such as Wizard of Oz, augment meaning in text, teaches them to consider how pictures are interpreted by an audience. Picture books, which combine images and texts, require both of these skills in order to successfully analyze. Around midterm break, a class period is devoted to introducing the assignment. During that class period, I begin by modeling the oral presentation since will be asked to give. Next, I hand out the assignment sheet, review it as a class, read it over, see what questions students have on it. Third, we brainstorm possible topics, and I provide them with ideas that have been successful in the past. Fourth, I walk them over to uh, the library and show them A to Z, A to Zoo, a reference bibliography that lists picture books based on theme. So you would, let's say you were going to do bats. You'd open it up to B, you'd find bats, and it would have a list of picture books dealing with bats. Or you wanted to do disabilities. You'd look up D, go to disabilities, it would have a list of picture books dealing with disabilities. After introducing the assignment, I continue scaffolding in, in the following ways. I posted sample essays to Blackboard for students to look at. I encourage students to conference with me as they develop their ideas. I encourage students to share drafts with me before the final drafts were due. And uh, students were assigned to turn in a bibliography of sources that uh, they consulted thus far two weeks before the essay is due. The bibliography was required. Um, I had two students conference with me. I had three students share drafts with me of their work. Um, of those, Two of the students who shared dress with me did very well. One did okay. Of the students who conferenced with me, one did very well. Um, the other one procrastinated after that and I did not do as well. With the bibliography, um, I believe I had 18 students in the class. 15 students turned in bibliographies. I, that gave me a chance to tell them which sources were weak or which give them an, especially an idea on their secondary sources. Uh, and since you turned those in, tended to do better. The assignment is crafted to meet all the different outcomes of the critical thinking rubric. Uh, explanation of a problem, the students have to justify teaching the topic, which establishes its viability, and then must figure out how to do so, which books to use, and how to use them. For evidence, the students must use a variety of sources. Five sources are required, at least two of which must be picture books. The secondary sources must also be included. The awareness of perspectives and context, the notion of taking the books into a classroom, opens up many possible ways to consider context, and there are often many perspectives on the best way to present a topic. The students must take a stance on the book's educational value and defend that stance for their students' position. The students come to conclusions on which approaches would and would not be beneficial to take with the books that they have chosen, if the books are compatible with each other within a lesson plan, and whether or not they're compatible with the curriculum that the topic that they're attempting to teach students about. Integrative thinking is thinking which takes disparate elements and explains how they can work together. This assignment does that through synthesis, taking diverse picture books and combining them to create one assignment, and also through being interdisciplinary. The literature is viewed not only as literature, 
but also with a primary focus on the writer's perceptions of how it could be used to educate readers. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. I hope this program is useful to you.